You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Your 11 minutes of nonstop news with a check of your forecast. Chesley, how are we looking going into the weekend? Pretty good, at least for the start. But once we get there, it gets a little dicey for us. Take a look at this. We have uh, clear skies on the outside. Temperatures are down into the 40s in a lot of spots, so you may need that light sweater this morning. By this afternoon, you'll take it off. We'll have mostly sunny skies all day, 77 for your high. But look at this. Clouds will start to increase through the overnight with some rain coming our way by tomorrow. So you have to enjoy today while you can. Happy Good Friday to you. 68 by noon, 77 degrees for your afternoon high temperature for today. Crash, over to you. I'm sorry, back to you, Aisha. Thank you, Chesley. Well, it's something as small as a locked door that could be the key investigators need to find who killed a Grantville couple and their teenage grandson one week ago today. New 911 calls reveal more about the moment the teenage boy's father showed up to the shop and found the body of his parents and his son. Brittany Klein, Peter live from GBI headquarters this morning. Brittany investigators say they just got to get some more information to take a step forward in this case. That's right. The GBI tells me they have been pouring through tips. They still have no leads and they're asking anyone who knows what happened April 8th to come forward and share what they know. Meanwhile, Coweta County just released the 911 call from that night, painting a more tragic picture for the, us of what Richard Hawk, the father of 18 year old Luke Hawk and son of Evelyn and Tommy Hawk discovered when he arrived at the found lock stock and barrel shooting range store in Grantville. I think somebody has robbed us and probably shot my, my my family. Oh my God! You think someone shot a family member or just? Oh. No, no. My the door is closed. The door is locked. Everything's locked up. And I see blood coming from my son's. Uh, I see blood coming from my son. I can't tell if anybody's dead, alive, or what, but. Once inside, investigators found Tommy Evelyn Luke had all been shot and killed. Dozens of weapons were missing, and the store's security footage was also gone. As officers work around the clock to solve the case, dozens of friends and family remembered the Hawks yesterday with a funeral in Noonan at the Unity Baptist Church. The Grantville Police Chief has increased the reward in this case from 25000 to 30000 saying it could go even higher. They're just desperate for answers. Aisha. Thank you, Brittany, and you can hear the full 911 call right now on 11alive.com and the 11alive YouTube channel. A man wrongfully accused of shooting an officer is out of jail and looking for an apology. Arterio Crumbly spoke exclusively with 11 Alive's Hope Ford hours before he plans to speak with reporters today. Clayton County police arrested him after they say multiple witnesses wrongfully identified him as a suspect in a robbery and shooting. He was locked up for six weeks. Police are now looking for a new suspect, this man, Charles Payne. My girl just showed me the picture of him. I'm like, yeah, I know I'm from the neighborhood, but how y'all getting me mixed up with him? I want an apology, and I'm going to sue them. Crumbly says he plans to head to the police department this morning to get his phone. This morning, people are remembering Atlanta rapper Archie Eversole as police release new details about his murder. They say Eversole's brother is the one who shot him. DeKalb County police say the rapper was shot in late March but died earlier this month. Eversol had roots in Clayton and Henry counties. The 37 year old was best known for his hit single We Ready, an anthem for Atlanta sports teams. Atlanta United, who adopted his song and frequently played it during matches, issuing a statement on Eversol's death. Part of it reading his voice will long live in our supporters' minds as We Ready billows through the speakers for kickoff at Atlanta United matches. Our deepest sympathies go out to his family and friends. Parents, if you see these candies in your child's Easter basket this weekend, throw them out. Kinder is voluntarily recalling its Happy Moments chocolate assortment and the Kinder Mixed Chocolate Treat Basket over salmonella concerns. The company pulling them after a bad batch manufactured in Belgium. So far, there have been no cases reported here in the U.S. More than a million hot glue guns are being recalled because they could suddenly catch fire when plugged in. It is for the Crafters Square glue gun sold at Dollar Tree and Family Dollar stores nationwide. If you have this at home, stop using it and bring it back to the store to get your refund. And a detaching freezer handle on thousands of refrigerators is prompting a recall as well. This is for the GE brand freestanding French door refrigerators sold from February 2020 through January of this year. 
When pulled, the handle can come off, causing people to fall down. More than three dozen injuries have been reported. Breaking news right now, a live look as police are on the scene of a homicide investigation. This is on Donnelly Avenue in Southwest Atlanta. We do have a reporter on the scene gathering information. We will update you on air and online as soon as we learn more. Your time right now is 656. Let's get a look at what you need to know before you head out the door. Russia issuing a new threat this morning, promising to ramp up attacks on Ukraine's capital city. This after the country attacked a Russian territory. The Ukrainian president praised his nation's bravery and said Ukraine should be proud of having survived 50 days under Russian attack. Today marks 75 years since Jackie Robinson broke Major League Baseball's color barrier by playing in a game for the Brooklyn Dodgers. The Braves will join all Major League teams by wearing the number 42 on their jerseys, which was Robinson's number. They'll also host a celebration at the Jackie Robinson Boys and Girls Club in Cairo, where Robinson was born. Another win or go home game for the Atlanta Hawks. This time they must do it on the road. The Cleveland Cavaliers host the Hawks in the final play in game at 7 p.m. The winner of that game will be in the East, number eight seed, and face the Miami Heat in the first round. Front of you, I make them score over the top and again. What we have plans for this afternoon? Maybe going out doing a little shopping, trying to find some Easter eggs around. Looking at 68 degrees under mostly sunny skies. By 3 o'clock this afternoon, we're looking at 77 degrees. We'll be a touch breezy out there. Winds about 10 miles per hour. Gusts could be a little bit higher than that at times. By 6 o'clock, as you're driving home or hitting the road, 75 degrees under mostly sunny skies. Rain gets in here by tomorrow morning. Well, thankfully, it's going to be a nice day if you are traveling on the roads safely. Mm -hmm. Plenty of sunshine around and temperatures up to 77 degrees, so that'll be nice. Woohoo! Yeah. All right. Well, enjoy your Easter weekend, and we'll see you back here for live updates at 726.